All right, it is definitely turning into Jack in the Box a week here on the channel right now as I'm back over here at Jack once again to take a look at a brand new burger that could very well be four times the fun. You guys ready for the quad bonus, Jack? Stay tuned because it's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Can you talk? Check out my triple bonus, Jack. Check it out with an extra party! Yeah, yeah. So here we go with the quad bonus jack here at Jack in the Box. And don't let the size fool you. This is definitely a smaller size burger, but there is plenty of meat and cheese. And while the patties themselves are value sized with lots of cheese around them, they are definitely thin, thin, thin. Let's take a look at the bun here. Looks like it is that soft action as always. Underneath it, we've got that secret sauce. We've got some shredded lettuce, some pickles, and then here comes the meat and cheese, guys. And as you can see by the thinness, definitely value size goodness there. We've got one, we've got two, we have got three right there, and then there is the fourth one on the bottom, and uh, lots of gooey American cheese to go with here, guys. So a meat and cheese showcase absolutely with this one here, and the value is pretty high. Even though they're thin patties, there's a lot of stack to this one, and I'm really digging how that looks, actually. $5.99 combo comes with a drink and some curly fries. I'm gonna be focusing on the burger only because that is the star of the show. But guys, here we go. It's the quad bonus jack here at Jack in the Box. Let's keep out this flavor. And hey, just in case you haven't noticed, of course I'm doing this one cheaters camp style. After hours, of course, because if you're going in on a burger of this magnitude with four patties, let's just say I really don't want a lot of people checking me out during the day while I dive in on this. So let's just get right to it. But before I do that, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, the quad bonus jack. This looks really, really meaty up close. I gotta say, let's give it a shot here with Jack in the Box after hours. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a lot of meat and cheese. Yeah, those patties are definitely value size, but there is a thickness to this one that really makes up for that, guys. The fact that there's four of them stacked really adds to the overall weight of this one big time. Four slices of cheese and a very, very sweet sauce on this one. I don't know if I'm really digging that too much, but guys, it is very meaty, very cheesy. Let's keep going, I'll give you that close up. Not bad. Mm. You know, I gotta say, the thinness of the patties on this one actually remind me of In-N-Out just a bit, just minus the caramelized edges. Now, naturally, the flavor's gonna be different, the sauce is different, but this really does have the feel of a double-double, believe it or not, with a couple of extra pieces of meat, almost like the four by four, but naturally, the flavor is definitely different. Sweetness of that sauce is just a little up there for me, but guys, it is meat and cheese and lots of tastiness to go with. It's really, really tasty for that reason. And by tastiness to go with, what I mean is that there is plenty of beef, plenty of cheese, so while the value size patties are definitely stacked up nicely on this one, the fact that they're thin is not really deterring from the fact that it is just very, very tasty. And the fact that you're getting a thick amount of meat on this, I wanna say it's pretty much closer to like a half pound of beef, not really quite up there, but it really does feel substantial even though it's a smaller bun. So value size appearance, but it packs a wallop in terms of the meat and cheese. That extra patty, I think, does make a difference over the triple. And guys, I think it's pretty evident. You're gonna like this if you're a carnivore, if you're a meat eater, this is definitely gonna be right up your alley. For $5.99 with a drink and fries, that's not bad at all, it really isn't. So let me go for one more bite of this value size beastly burger before we wrap this one up and give it a rating. Mm. So let's go a little 360 action on this one to show you what I'm looking at from the back here, guys. A very decent amount of cheese, like I said, even though the value size patties are in effect with this one here. Nice snap from the pickles, I gotta say. I wish I had just a few more of those on here. With four patties, I think you need at least four or five pickles to really match it. But the sauce itself is just a little elevated in the sweetness category. So I'm not really a super fan of that, but it is slightly drowned out as you're eating this by all the meat and the cheese. And as you can see, there is no shortage of that if you could decide to go with the quad. Not bad at all. My $4.99 triple bonus jack combo. Stack it up for an extra buck. You know, as I'm thinking about this throughout this review, I believe the bonus jack actually had that middle bun, very reminiscent of the Big Mac back in the day that I actually reviewed, I believe, two years ago this month. So if you guys haven't seen that review, take a look at that one popping up on your screen right now. That was a pretty decent value proposition back then as well, I believe with fries and a drink. And that's definitely something to consider, especially if four patties is not really your thing. But I guess it doesn't really matter because even with three patties, you're not getting the middle bun at all with this one. So it still has the bonus jack name, but it doesn't really look like the Big Mac. But as this one stands, I don't think it's going for that at all. It's going for meat and cheese and it definitely wins in that category. 
So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the quad bonus jack here a jack in the box. A pretty solid nine out of 10. What really carries this one naturally is all the beef and the cheese on this one. And it really does kind of drown out the sweetness that's elevated from the sauce itself. A little bit of extra pickles would have gone the long way, but naturally having that softness of the bun, the lettuce, it pretty much rounds out nicely. Still a very tasty burger, guys. Value patty size or not, it is still thick, and that is pretty awesome. Now the question is, did this look pretty awesome to you? Drop some comments down below. Are you looking forward to giving the triple version of this one a shot? And better yet, what about the quad version? Is that one on your radar? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, Cheaters Camp Style. After hours here at Jack in the Box, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey Jack, you wanna get crazy with this one? How about a quad version of the Buttery Jack? I mean, that's one of your flagship burgers to begin with. So imagine the thickness of that meat times four with that buttery goodness. That'd be pretty insane. All right guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.